This was a horrible day for American democracy. Yesterday, 51 Democrats, every one of them, set the Constitution on fire. They ignored uh, the, the future of, the, of this idea of checks and balances of Congress over the, the executive branch. You may never see another impeachment trial again now if the Senate is the same party as the president is. Uh, there should have been an impeachment trial yesterday. Think, think about this, though. You know, we have people that are up for a re-election here in November from purple states, senators from purple states like Montana and Ohio, who, who claim they're moderates. But then they stand in line to vote like a liberal. Uh, they burned the Constitution down yesterday. It's a sad day for America. Is this dead? Oh, it's, it's buried dead on the Senate floor. Now, we get a second bite of the apple today. Just coincidentally, Secretary Mayorkas is going to be in front of our committee in, uh, in, on Homeland Security Committee. So this is another chance for us to have a mini trial. Um, I, I think that we will have some gunpowder go off between Rand Paul and Ron John and, and uh, Rick Scott, Josh Hawley, and myself. You're going to see some gunpowder today as we try to condense this trial down to about one hour. I want you to take a listen to Alejandro Mayorkas yesterday outlining the power he has to fix the broken border. Take a listen. We cannot change a broken immigration system. Only Congress can do so. There is no executive order? So yeah. you're pulling it off the table? Oh, no, not at all. You know, we, we, we explore options every single day. That's the responsibility of good government. We are considering options. We have been throughout. Hmm. Senator, your reaction to that? Look, Mayorkas is doing Biden's bidding. These are Biden's policies. America is not dumb enough to fall for that. Uh, they, uh, they underestimate exactly how smart Americans are, and they realize that policy changes could fix this. All you have to do is just look at the numbers uh, going from Trump to, to Joe Biden. And you know, ultimately, this is going to be decided in November. That's when the true impeachment, that's the last chapter of this impeachment trial, when ultimately we go after the goose, the person that's really doing this. And, of course, that's Joe Biden. Mayorkas is doing Biden's biddings. I, I don't know how he lies like that. I, and, and, you know, another reason he should be convicted, by the way, that's exactly what Bill Clinton was convicted for, was lying to Congress. Uh, and here we have the secretary lying again. He'll lie again today in this, impeach, in this uh, hearing that we're having in, in uh, Homeland Security as well. Yeah, and I don't understand understand why he never gets pressed when he gaslights the American people like that. I can think of two. Catch and release, remain in Mexico. Mm -hmm. uh, Title 42 would be a third option that Bingo. Joe Biden, with the stroke of a pen, could he could take that action today mm -hmm. and solve the majority of the issues that we're seeing at the southern border, not to mention doing what Donald Trump started doing when he completed 400 plus miles of border wall and just start building that wall again. Walls work. Yeah, exactly. And, and again, Biden wants this problem. He wants these people coming across the border. Uh, 11 million people encountered at the border right now. He thinks that those are Democrat votes. They're lining up. They're trying to figure out how to get these people to vote uh, in their particular states as well. So we, we need more people watching the polls this year as well, as usual, checking for IDs, uh, assessing how people are registering to vote as well. But that's their goal. They want this problem, and they're going to keep ignoring it. But the people have to hold them accountable in November. We need a new sheriff in town. We need uh, Donald Trump at, at the helm here once again. We know that he'll secure the border. You mentioned that what the Democrats did yesterday sent a clear message to Lake and Riley's family. I just want you to elaborate on that a little bit. Yeah. yeah. You know, a vote to not have a trial is a vote to tell Lake and Riley's family that we don't care. It, it is that simple. And not just Lake and, but there's thousands of other of people just like Lakin who have lost their lives to people who have been paroled, which is another illegal action under this administration, that they paroled maybe two million people uh, illegally. They're supposed to do it one at a time. They're doing it tens of thousands at a time. People that never were properly vetted, and then they're, they're catching and releasing them in, in our own systems. Uh, you know, the, the murder of, of Lakin was caught and released in New York. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is a constant theme, and not to mention the 250,000 families that lost a loved one the fentanyl poisoning. What are we telling them? You know, recently we did a round table on crime uh, back home, and the law enforcement officer said, this is so bad, we cannot arrest ourselves out of that. And that's exactly what I'm going to ask Mayorkas today. What would you tell those officers? You know, Rob mentioned pressing them. You know, that's our job today is to try to press them. Uh, and why doesn't the national media press them? How do they get away with this?